everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be introducing you to my little chickadees. My little chicka chicks, my little girly pops. Okay, so I ordered them from Meyer Hatchery back in January. And they hatched May the 1st. Today's May the 6th. I tried to film this video the day that I got them. But it was so windy out here. And like you couldn't hear anything. So a little calmer today. Um, and I'm just going to go over what I got and show you each one. Okay. Okay, so this first one here is a golden buff. I got two of these, and she is feathering out quite nicely. I wish I could have filmed this the day of because they barely had any feathers, and the little tail feathers are coming in. So stinking cute, but uh, yeah, so this is golden buff one. I'm slightly confused. I thought this was a golden buff. And she very well may be, but she's not feathering out like the other one so this is her today um as you can see her feathers are not big at all she looks super tiny and fluffy she looks like i had trouble dif differentiating different di mm. i had trouble determining which if she was my silky or if she was the golden buff so um i'm not sure what's going on with that she doesn't have feathered feet so i know this isn't the silky but that's weird. She's not feathering out as quick, so. I'm just gonna go by color order. So this one is my Buff Orpington. So I did actually get two of these. I'm trying to hold her so she doesn't like fly away, fall off. Uh, this is my Buff Orpington. I did have two of these. One came DOA, um, and so that was kind of sad. I had originally ordered a silver laced wine dot, but she, they didn't have like enough. And so they sent me an extra Buff Orpington and then one didn't make it so you know I at least have the one that I ordered next for the yellow ones we have got my little buff silky and honestly she's got a little pasty butt I need to get that cleaned off of her um but you know they're supposed to be like friendly little fun chickens and she's terrified of me uh the other silky is doing great but I have such a hard time catching her so I'm trying to like give her extra loving but she does not like to be she does not like to be caught, but this, let me get it focus on her. This is my little buff Silky. From there, we have got a Frizzle Easter Egger. And honestly, she was the first one that I know. Her wings, her feathers are just simply gorgeous. Let's see if you can see. Hey, girly pop. Hey. I'm not sure if she's going to Frizzle or not. Ah. Uh, I just can't quite tell. I don't think that they're gonna frizzle. They look pretty flat, but yet they are so long and more prominent than the others. So I'm thinking she's not gonna frizzle, but she's still gorgeous. Um, hey, hey, girl. Hey. I think they. Uh, my sister named her Lemon. So, well, I'm curious to see what she's gonna look like in a few months. I'm gonna do an update video on all of these little girls. Little Easter Egger. I haven't named this one yet. But she's just, she's huge. Honestly, she's huge. Hey, girly pop. Are you tiger? I can't remember if you were tiger or not. Stella named three of them. Leopard, cheetah, and tiger. However, leopard and cheetah tend to be the same chicken. So, um, this one is my little Easter egger. So, this is another, I believe this one is a frizzle Easter egger. Um, I believe she's frizzling. So, let me see if you can see her, her little wings. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Come on out. Oh, yeah. She's frizzling. Let's see if you can see. Oh, focus on the chicken, not me. If you can see the way that they're tilting up, she is a frizzle. So, that's exciting. We ordered two, and it's 50-50 shot on if they frizzle or not. So, she's a frizzle. This one, I, I don't know if homegirl's a rooster or if she is just alpha hen, but this is also an Easter egger. She is super... I'm trying not to like let her go too much because she will fly off. She like tries to attack me when I open up the thing. She like flies over, very curious, not afraid of nothing. So, but this is, I'm trying to get it to focus on the chicken. Come on. There's a literal chicken right here. Why are you not focusing on it? This one is pretty much the favorite. This is leopard or cheetah, if you couldn't tell by her face. Look at that face, y'all. And I have a funny clip I'm going to show right here of... Uh, a TikTok I did with her. So we've got little girly pops. This one is leopard. Oh, it was leopard. But she's all good. She is not injured from that. She didn't fall far. She just landed in my lap. But 
Leopard is literally, she is so sweet. Every time we come over to the brooder, she just like looks up at us and like super chill. So I'm very excited to see what she's gonna look like when she's big. I'm gonna zoom in so maybe you can see the little chickens a little bit better, but we love Leopard. She is super sweet, literally one of the favorites. So, all right, from there, those are all the lighter, no, no. So this one is my partridge pinna She's supposed to lay a terracotta colored egg and they're supposed to be not very friendly. Like I've, from what I've read, they're like flighty kind of timid birds, but she's super sweet. Very, very calm. Let's you hold her. Um, doesn't run from you. Uh, she does, she is banded. I need to go ahead and take that off because I know which one she is now. Um, but yeah. Oh, now she's pecking me. Well, you see my fingernail? You thought that was some food. And she looks super similar to the next two, which are both well summers. So the well summers i ordered one of and they sent me two so that was exciting um this is well summer one i'm trying to like hold it to where you can see her but i don't want her to fly away like it's a long drop so well summer one well summer two wow they are not the fr wow look at that they're not the friendliest of birds like they're not the i say friendly they don't want to be held much like i have trouble catching them um, I don't know if that'll change later on, but we're trying to give y'all all love, aren't we? We're trying to love on all y'all. A Blue Orpington. I don't know what we'll eventually name her if we do. Her little joint is so swollen. We're just giving it a couple of days to see what goes on. She's hobbling around, eating and drinking. Hey, girly, I hope you make it. I hope you make it, girl. So, yeah, we're calling her Blue for now, but... If she makes it, she'll get a little bit more of a special name. <laughs> this one is my black copper moran. She had some pretty severe pasty butt last night, so I had to get her taken care of. Um, but she's doing good. Doing great. I'm excited to see her beautiful brown eggs. I'm wondering, I think, okay, so I think one of the Easter eggers that I showed was maybe a green queen. I'm not really sure. There's so many in here, it's really hard to tell. So I've got two olive eggers and two green queens, and I'm not sure which ones they are. So this one is either a green queen or an olive egger. I cannot remember. <laughs> I'm trying to hold her good, but uh, she doesn't have feather feet. I can't remember which one they said she was. I posted in like a little group. Here's the second one. They look pretty similar. So like I said, it's either an olive egger or a green queen. Hey. Hey, girly pop. Hey, girly pop. Hey. Hey. Okay, they're getting soaking wet from the water bowl for some reason. So this one is feathered. So I believe this one is the olive egger, I think. Anyway, she's mostly black. Um, oh, super sweet. Hey, girl. Girly pop. She does have a white butt. Okay, and then we've got this one who's mostly black but no feathered feet. Hey. Same thing, white butt. Then we've got my little, oh, then we've got my little black Silky. She's actually pretty friendly, but right now she's just being a little crazy. And honestly, it looks like her wings are frizzling. I don't know what that's about, but she looks like a frizzle. So is that normal for a Silky? Like, can you see them? Hang on. Can you see the way they're like flaring out? So I think that was all of them. I might've missed a black one. I can't remember. They, they all look so similar. Okay, so if I missed one, I'm sorry. I'll obviously see it when I'm re-watching this video if I don't have 20 on here. But those are our little girls. So I'm super excited about them. I might order some more tomorrow, uh, depending, just because we lost the one. Um, and I'm not sure if Blue's gonna make it. So that leaves me down two from what I originally was getting. Um, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see if I order some more tomorrow. Um, and if I do, they'll be a week from with each other, so they'll be okay. But Anyways, and then here's Leopard just looking up at me in the brooder. I literally love her. She is so stinking sweet. Okay, real quick, I just want to say that I did miss a chick. I went back and watched this video. There's only 19 chicks. Uh, and so I was like, who did I miss? So I went back. We've mislabeled one because there's one on here. I'll post pictures of her. She looks identical to the Well Summers and my Pena de Cinca. Her wings are shorter, so I kept mistaking her for my Pena de Cinca. But her stripes are the same color as the Well Summers. So I just kept, like, when I was picking up a Well Summer, I was just overlooking. So, anyways. So that means I've mislabeled one of the ones in here somewhere. We've mislabeled either a Easter egg or Green Queen, uh, Olive Egg, 
or a frizzle Easter egg or somewhere in there. Or she's an additional well summer that they sent me that I did not order. I don't know. I went something, something. But anyways, the chickens are in my house right now because there is a very handsome Siamese cat that decided to make an appearance on my porch and we need to reinforce this bad boy because the cat was too handsome not to feed okay anyways those are our girls and i'm super excited to watch them grow and i'm gonna do an update video obviously within a few months uh, when they're teenagers what they look like and then you know what they look like fully grown um i'm excited to do the coop i'm gonna film this um getting all that ready because the coop is not ready um and the run built uh so we've got just a few weeks left and that's got to get done um, but yeah, I'm excited to show y'all. So hang around, we get some colorful little eggs and just have a grand old time being a little chicken mama. So, um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and God bless. Mm -hmm.